If you are one of the estimated 10 million people who have had their rates randomly raised since the beginning of the year, you're probably going to be very happy about the new credit card bill of rights. Essentially, this law will end many of the practices that the banks have used for many years to get more money out of every consumer. So here's the deal. The bill states that when you're making payments, it goes to pay off the balance with the highest interest rate first. Until now, banks often did it the other way. Credit card companies can't increase your interest rates on existing balances unless your payments are 60 days late. And if you are 60 days late, but you make on-time payments for the next six months, they have to lower your rate back to the original rate. The bill also says companies must mail statements at least 21 days before the bill is due. You have to be 21 years old to apply for a credit card now. 18-year-olds can still apply, but a signature of a parent or another responsible adult is required. Or proof must be found that the under 21-year-old can repay the debt. You get advance notice if your account terms change. Under the new law, the credit card company has to tell you about changes 45 days in advance. No more accidental over the limit fees. In the past, many credit cards would let you spend well beyond your credit limit, then they'd hit you with a over limit fee on your next bill. Now, you'll be told while paying that your purchase will push you over the limit. And you can choose whether to complete the purchase and pay the late fee. No more universal default. In the past, a credit card company could monitor all the payments you made to any company. So if they saw you paid your electric bill late, even if your credit card payments were always on time, they could still raise your credit card interest rates or even cancel your account. Now it's illegal to do that.